What's up, everybody at YouTube? Or watching YouTube, I should say. This is Oni the Demon Lord, or Jeremy, whichever one you want to call me, it's fine. Um, sitting out here at work, I've just been here for about a couple of hours cleaning this building behind me. Cleaning toilets, you know, wiping desks down, taking out trash, whatever, you know, just whatever. Dusting, er, you know, a little everything. Smelling the death coming from the chicken house across the way over here and sitting here thinking you know I used to think I was going to be something special or leave my name on something but I'm just a worker bee like everybody else I reckon and maybe there ain't nothing wrong with that I don't know <clears throat> but I would at least I always kind of wanted to be known for something but I mean I kind of am everywhere I've ever worked. Most of the people have always liked me. I always thought I was a good person. Uh, and some of them, every time I see them, they always come and hug me. And I always try to help people. You know, I always give homeless people money, even though people tell me not to do that. I still do it. They go, oh, they're going to be spending it on drugs. I'm like, I don't give a shit what they do with it. I give it to them for a good reason. If they want to spend it on drugs, that's on them. I give it to them to get them some food or something to drink. But if they want to spend it for other things, that's that's on them. It's my money, and if I want to give it to them, I'm going to give it to them. Cause, and I always donate to like those little charities where it's like St. Jude's and the little cup which for St. Jude's or, you know, March of Dimes or some, you know, anything for juvenile diabetes and stuff. I always give a few dollars about every time I go to the store to one of them. Even if I don't have it, I still give it to them. So I always try to do good things for people. I always try to give the people that I see that needs it. And I try to help people I work with. But I don't work with nobody here. I work by myself for the most part now. And I don't know. People just make me mad. I know I, sometimes I, I might. If you've ever watched any of my other videos, and when I'm kind of pissed off going off on rant, talking about you know how much I hate people. Yeah, I do hate some people because there's a lot of people that cause a lot of suffering, need, needless suffering, and there are a lot of greedy people and shit in the world and a lot of these businesses that work that you work for, they don't give a shit about you, they don't, you know. I can understand some small businesses that don't have the money to give you insurance, but like Walmart could afford to give their employees insurance. If the Walton family... Walton family could take less money and turn it around and give insurance to their all their employees at all their stores at Sam's Club and Walmart. It wouldn't hurt them. It would hurt their bottom, their main bottom line, the money they're getting. But they've got enough money. They don't need no more. How much is enough? You know, they don't do nothing with it, but hold on to it and invest it in other shit to make them money. How much money do you really fucking need? Because you sit there and think, Jeff Bezos, the guy who owns Amazon, and there's an Amazon place not too far here in Chattanooga where I'm, where I'm at. There's not one too far, there's one not that far away from here. He's got, he's, I think one, I think he's the world's richest man got billions and billions of dollars you got to think how much money that is and it's just sitting you know I know it's not just sitting around it's in different things it's in, you know the buildings cost money and that's you know that you know what you pay for the building and stuff that for Amazon the company that adds to their what they're worth what the company's worth you know all the property all the buildings all the assets he owns that's for that you know that Amazon uses all the trucks uh, their delivery trucks that, you know, the cars that they have that's got Amazon Road on them that people drive to deliver stuff and things like that because they do personal deliveries now too on some things, some groceries and other things like that. They have these like little car things in some places that drop off groceries and stuff like, I, th I can't remember what they call it, Direct Prime or some shit like that. And they had these little blue trucks, like little blue trucks or black trucks with the blue smile on it. But he himself has got like 
probably billions of dollars in his different bank accounts. And I, and I sit there and think, what if he just holds on to that money and sets on it? And that's all he does with it. He's more than comfortable. And I've never been like that myself. I've, I, I don't know what I would do if I... I know I would probably help a shitload of people with that money. I don't think I'd be greedy with it because I've never been a greedy person. Never cared much about money. As long as I'm comfortable and I'm, I've taken care of, i got food in my belly, clothes on my back, and i got a house, i got something, you know, a shelter, roof over my head, I'm good. And whatever's left, you know, I don't care to share it with somebody that... That I, if I see that they need it, I don't care. Or if someone asks me that I know, or even maybe a stranger, if they, if I feel like they're being honest with me and nice, you know, if I feel like they're a nice person and they're being honest with me, I don't care to give them some money and they don't have to pay me back or whatever. But, you know, maybe I'm a sucker, though. You know, some people have said I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for a sob story. Maybe it's true, but that's just the way I guess I was raised and brought up. I just really sit here and think sometimes about stuff and the world and how shitty it is. I've always wanted to be some kind of, like I said, I always wanted to make a name for myself doing something. I wanted to do it, I wanted to join the military, but I had knee problems and I couldn't go. They, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't accept me because of my knee trouble, my knee and ankle problems. I couldn't march and do all the running and shit they'd want me to do. But I was thinking about just going in and enlisting anyways, but I've, I'm probably too old now. I'm in my mid-30s, so they probably wouldn't want me now. If they did, I wouldn't be in there long before they'd probably make me retire, maybe like five years and then make me retire. And I wouldn't get my full, I wouldn't get a full retirement or anything to live off of. I don't know. Just sometimes just life's kind of shitty sometimes and... Uh, I just don't understand it. I just don't understand people. I think I was, like, in Quigley Down Under when O. Alan Rickman says some people, he goes, some men are born in the wrong century, I was born on the wrong continent or whatever. Well, I think I was born in the wrong century. I think I'd have done better, you know, a, you know, a long time ago. But I guess that's dumb to think like that. Because I do like some things that, that happened now, but I just feel like I don't fit in. I'm a square peg in a round, trying to fit in a round hole, and I just can't fit in it. I just don't understand stuff. I don't understand people. I just don't get it. I guess. I'm just, I'm just an idiot that just don't fucking get it. I, guess. I just don't understand it. I just don't get people. Or maybe they're all fucking crazy and I'm sane. I don't know. Or maybe I'm the right one and they're all wrong and it's just been, you know, everybody thinks that's the best way to be and everybody wants to do it because being rich is great, you know. They think that being rich is great. You have all, you have money to do whatever you want. You never go hungry. You never have to struggle for nothing. But at the same time, people can do great things when they're struggling. You know, you gotta think of one of those things that's happened in the world has come from when people were struggling and suffering. You know, people can people can look, dig inside themselves and pull out greatness if they want to when they're in a tight spot. But I don't know, just some thoughts, I guess. So y'all be careful, take care of each other, and I hope y'all have good days anybody that watches this and have some peace in your life it's a little bit more of a calm reflective video and sometimes I get like this most of the time I'm a wild man but you know I'm having like a just a reflective day but everybody you know maybe hopefully you can find some inner peace and have a good life and have a good day